Right, well I'm out for a ride today, got to do a little thing. Thought I'd uh, give you a little update. Right, well, um, I've come back from my trip. It's been a few days now. It's been a week since I had a little um, accident, shall we say. Um, but yeah, uh, what's hurt? Well, from the start of the video, my hand, my finger, literally just my finger. Um, I got quite, yeah, quite lucky actually, because when a bike falls, well, it could have been a lot worse. I could have been pinned underneath it. That could have hurt quite a bit, that could have. Um, pinning a bike on top of you is pretty painful. Uh, but yeah, I landed. I think I punched something on the way down, which uh, done a lot of damage to my middle finger. And I can't really use a clutch at the moment. Um, hence why I'm on the cub. Well, actually, I do like riding the cub as well, so that's also an advantage. But yeah, the, uh, the good old cub with its... Uh, semi-automatic is a uh, well it's a good thing that I've got this otherwise I wouldn't be riding at all would not be riding at all oh this is very bumpy here I've edited a wonderful video for the trip now at least so that's all done and uh, if you are a patron which I must thank you very much all the patrons not very many of you but still and I'll link it to some people who've donated to me as well being on stream or whatever I'll uh, link you the oh that's come on I don't believe it that's just come loose I think I've got a screwdriver on me. It's not going to go anywhere. It'll be up later on. I mean, I've just put up a long-ish 20-minute video of my ABR. I'm not going to do back-to-back -back camping videos. Um, I will uh, put a, uh, a little breather up, so I'll put this one up. And I'll probably put up a review video soon as well. Of something, I'm sure. Um, and then, yeah, so if you're a patron, you can see it already now, probably. I mean, yeah, you don't get much to patrons. And there's not very many of you. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And yeah, if you're just on normal YouTube, yeah, you'll see it soon enough. Don't worry about it. It's not really an event sort of thing, so it's just a camping trip, me and my mate. But yeah, in that camping trip is when I did my hand in. But it's fine now. I've got full range of motion. I never really lost full range of motion. It was just incredibly painful to do full range of motion. So, I haven't actually had it checked really, but the swelling has gone down and stuff, so I presume it's good now, and the pain has subsided massively. That was a, I hope the GoPro saw that. That was a, an interesting bird that flew past. How has this come loose? I think the vibrations have unscrewed it over time. I'm really lucky that I've got this cub though, as a, as my, uh, well this year's daily driver sort of thing. Just the little black machine. BMW is now fully repaired, I mean it wasn't too badly damaged, everything just kind of like bent back into position. Or, you know, so well, it's I mean, fully repaired, I mean it's got a lot more scratches on now. So BMW is fine, I'll be able to use it for camping later on this year. Or, maybe I'll try to get out for another camping trip soon. I'm looking, thinking, can I quickly just do another little weekend away or something somewhere? That'd be kind of cool if I could. It's a hill. Can't go up a hill so quick. I really can't complain on that crash though. I mean, that was a pretty nasty one. It could have been so much worse. I mean, I was wearing all the proper gear and everything, and I just kind of rolled down the hill. Um, so I left the bike where it was, and I just carried on rolling. Which is pretty good for me, you know. Means that I didn't have any, like, one single, you know, sudden stop impact and something. So I got quite lucky. Some people have been really unlucky. I really feel sorry for, um, if anyone watched Garden Shed. He's had a nasty off, and he's broke his leg. Um, and that was his first time off-road. I mean, I love off-road courses, you know, them off-road courses and stuff are great, but you kind of want to do off-road, possibly something a little bit locally, more local to where you live. Um, I mean, you know, that's the risk, I guess, of going off-road. But I hope it hasn't put him off for life, because, yeah, I know he bought his Himalayan because he wanted to do a bit of off-roading and stuff. Big old heavy bike for your first off-roader, and probably got a lot of... Um, newbie mistakes and if you're making newbie mistakes off-road with a big bike yeah the uh it's uh, catastrophic the first off-roading i ever did was on a light much lighter bike um 
and then I had a 250 for ages. Well, I still have my 250. Um, but yeah, it's always best to start on a an absolutely lighter bike for off-roading and then progressively work your way up to bigger, more powerful bikes later on. Or, or not hot, in my case. As I just seem to have the one CRF 250 for forever. Oh well, it's part of the adventure, isn't it? Having a, a little off here or there. A bit of excitement. Not you really want excitement. I mean, my holidays, my trips away on bikes, they're not really uh, relaxing trips, let's face it. Most of them. Most of them are proper slugfests. I mean, we're, on this trip that, you know, you'll see, then I was doing a lot of miles. We're doing a lot of miles every day, and 90% of the time we're on roads like this. Uh, well, I'd say 50% of the time roads like this, there was about 10% when we were on a dual carriageway. I think we had to spend one hour one day on a dual carriageway and one hour another day on a, on a dual carriageway, but it literally was an hour at a time, um, and then we were off the dual carriageway. It was just a bit of dual carriageway for about an hour, just to get, you know, you had to get some miles done. You can't do 200 miles in a day, well, comfortably on these sort of roads, but when I mean these sort of roads, I mean this is the best sort of road you could be on but a lot of them were single track so when you see the video I've only shown you snippets but yeah it was long days in the saddle which was quite fun and they were at a relaxing pace for them bikes so pretty damn good oh fatal four way Ugh. that's that car that overtook us ages ago brought him right back up again ah. <laughs> I don't know what this video is. I mean, I go out on a ride and I think, oh no, I'll make a little video about it. But then I get on the bike and I zone out and I relax and then I completely forget. I had a few little things I wanted to talk about and I can't remember most of them. Broken finger, well, fractured finger or just heavily bruised. You can't really do much for a broken finger unless you splint it to the other finger, which is what I did when I got back. And I didn't ride for a few days and that seemed to really help. Um, now I've taken it off. As long as I don't really use it so much, it's all right. Um, so yeah, I've done that. Okay, talked about that. Um, I've got uh, a couple of reviews coming out. Thank you very much for all the patrons. And you know, go please, patrons, go check out the new patron video. There's not very many of you, but and I know you do check it. I think I get two or three people who definitely check out the patron. And they do see them videos. But if you haven't, if you've forgotten please go check it now. There's, uh, that video will not be coming out just yet for the rest of you. It'll be coming out later on. This video took me around, I think it was 17 hours to edit. And that's not minus the twice I watched it, and I think it's 30 minutes, so it took me like an hour to watch it, and I would watch it, and then I'd have to go and adjust something because I spotted a mistake. So then I watched it again. There is probably one mistake in there now, but I've already rendered the video out. And it took my computer about five hours to render it, and then it took about three hours to upload it. So, and that's a 4K video, so whatever. Um, yeah, uh, some of my videos, they get really long-winded, and I know it's only going to get about maybe 200 views if I'm lucky. But, I do like editing, I do like re-watching my video, well, if I like the video, and I like making it, and I put a lot of effort into it, then I will like to re-watch it. Uh, you know, later on down the line, six months, a year later, two years later. It's really nice to go back and watch them on video sometimes. I mean, they're, they're for me more than they're for you. <laughs> Sorry to say. You just happened. Even if I couldn't upload them, they would, I would still make the videos. And I would still have them. Um, for me, basically. Uh, this is possibly the worst thing to be stuck behind on the country road. I'm just going to stop here for a minute. Might as well. There is a byway back there. I could probably nip down the byway. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to take a shortcut. Um, oh, it's very muddy in here. Oh, good lord, it's muddy. You know what? This bike, I still don't think I should be... Oh, it's a bit hard to turn around now, isn't it? 
I don't want to get money. Nope, you know what? I'm aborting. I'm aborting. <laughs> I'm aborting. That is a lot more muddy than I thought it'd be. I've been down here before, actually, and I've absolutely roosted everything out. Has it changed? Has it changed to... No, oh, it says still byway. It just says byway. I'm wimping out of that. Oh, look at all the mud coming off my tyres. All the mud coming off my shoes as well. Oh. Oh. Sorry, bike. <laughs> oh, yes. Got a nice classic bike. It was nice. Just dragged it through the mud. Dear, oh dear. This was a mistake. <laughs> okay. I won't do that again. Anyway, the traffic jam's gone now. I should have just waited. <laughs> I'd, if it was dry, I'd have gone down there. But the tyres just mudded up super quick. It wouldn't have saved me any time probably by the time I've gone round the houses. Now, do I go camping on this bike next or my BMW? BMW is easy. It depends where I go. If I'm going to go distance, I don't know. It depends. I can do both. It doesn't really matter. Um, especially if it's only a weekend or something. It doesn't really matter at all for me. Depends on the sort of roads I choose to ride. Yeah, you have to think about it. I might do one more trip on this and, one more, and at least a couple more on the BMW. We'll see. Now I'm thinking also of starting another Cub build. Um, I've got my Cub. If anyone remembers, long ago I bought a blue one and the blue one is in dire need of repair now. Um, it's been off the road, I think, since 2019. Um, no, 2020. End of 20... 2020, I took it off the road because of, you know, but yeah, looking at it, it needs some dire repairs. So, I want to start restoring that. And I mean, I'm going to try my best to make it look like a cub. Now, I've got a lot of spare cub parts from over the years, so I think I can pretty much as long as, the only thing I'm going to have to do is a lot of elbow grease to clean out the frame. Um, sort the frame out. See how, well, strip everything down and see how bad the frame is. Because these frames don't last very well. Let's face it, the old Hondas, they, after 20 plus years, they do start to deteriorate. So, they do start to go. Depending on the frame, depending on the year. Um, this is the bike I'm on now is a 65. And the rust is all surface, which is really good, no structural. However, on that other one, the blue one, it's structural, unfortunately. It is not looking good. So, I will have to strip it all down first to see how bad it actually is. Can I save it or not, the frame? I mean, I've looked around, I could get a replacement frame. So I might have to go that route, which might be a bit easier, but it's quite expensive to go that route, rather than probably... I reckon it would cost about 40 quid to get the replacement bits of metal to weld back to the frame. And I've got a welder, so I'll give it a go. You know, it might be an absolute mess. Or, I get sheet metal and hammer it on and then weld it on, something like that. Or I buy a replacement frame. The replacement frame is around 250 quid. So, that's not too bad. Whether or not them frames are any good quality. I've asked around, people said they're okay, but you do actually have to touch up where the weld seams are and stuff, which is fine, I've got a welder, I can do it. So I'll probably do that. So yeah, hopefully, but I'm not going to start this project just yet. I mean, it's summer, I want to ride more than spend it in my boiling shed building thing. Um, I might wait till... Uh, the next lockdown happens. When that happens, <laughs> if that happens, hopefully not, whatever. But yeah, that's the next plan for the, the next foreseeable future. Yeah, probably do live streams again, so they'll be coming back. That's if there's a lockdown or whatever, then definitely there will be a build. At the moment, I'm just like, well, it's a big money. Can I afford it? it it's um, up and down. I mean, yes, I could. I could prioritise funds 
that's the. I, I don't think. I don't think there's nothing. There's nothing about. I. You know, you can't afford. It's like, oh, I can't afford that. No, it's it's not about can you or can't you afford it. It's will you make it a priority? Do you want it bad enough that you'll will set aside the money to do it? Um, thank you. That's why I say thank you to the patrons because you've enabled me to slowly save up money for this frame, and that's what I'm going to cash out that patron money and use it to possibly buy a new frame, which isn't going to, you know, I, I estimate the cost of the, the bike build will be probably around, mm, well, I estimate and I, how much I actually need are two different things, but I reckon it will be between five and seven hundred pounds to restore the cub, um, but that 250 pounds, or whatever, is a, or two, I think it's about two, whatever it is, it's not going to pay for the frame, but it pays for a big chunk of that frame replacement and it does get me motivated and gives me a really good start and hopefully by the time that I oh rust is closed and by the time that I get all past that hopefully I'll have more money later on down the line but I've already got all the spare parts I need for a lot of the parts we can spend a lot of time cleaning all the bits and bobs and uh, trying to repair as much as we can as much as possibly can be done to repair it, I will, um, rather than having to buy things. So yeah, I should be able to do it, hopefully, with uh, with basically what I've got, which is why I was thinking I should. This is what I should do next: um, fully restore a stock, a stock bare bones Honda Cub back box, top box, um, whatever, everything everything needs to be and a screen leg shield everything everything will look proper pucker on it well it's the sand anyway um so yeah like i say thank you again for the patrons and i'll probably end this video here so like i say check out my disc uh check out the links below i've got a discord i've had it set up for a while um i don't know just check it out join it if you want um i haven't decided what i'm going to use it for yet but if you click it, you can see some bits that I've done. Not a lot. It's been open for quite a while. Not a lot. I might mention or share things in there, but nothing major. But I don't say... Put, mm, if you want to message me, the best place to message me is probably on Twitter still. Or something. and Or Instagram. Yeah, I've got Instagram, sorry. Instagram, that's it. Link below to Instagram. Of course, as always. You can see pictures and stuff and if I do start building another cub you'll know on the Instagram probably you'll see some pictures going up of the frame and stuff and then probably some build series will be posted on YouTube later anyway that's it for the video I hope you enjoy this ramble um, I'm not very good at this talky vloggy style of thing because I get on the bike I start riding I forget what I was doing and everything so if you did like it please drop it a like because I really don't know what my audience like anymore and then look forward to a couple of review videos maybe and then a 30 minute trip video that I did this year thanks again to anyone who supported patrons and whatever and yes whatever okay that's it thanks for watching catch the next video ciao